with Craig Birch here at the Henrietta Street Boxing Gym Club show at the Prison Night Club on Broad Street in Birmingham. Just had another bout down, and that was, this was a real bruising one, wasn't it? Louis Stewart versus Stewart Birch. Stewart comes out on top at the end. Louis, you know you've been in a fight after that one, it? it's a tough one. Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's, uh, it just absolutely flew by, to be honest with you, but couldn't tell you pretty much anything what happened. I think the crowd just kind of merges into one. Like, no amount of training sort of think can prepare you for it you just get sort of sucked into it I think you get quite quite emotionally involved uh, but it's just a great experience to, to go through and I think uh, yeah I'm feeling it in the morning yeah well Stuart you really Stuart, Stuart you really unloaded the arse on Louis as well and he just kept on coming didn't he yeah definitely I mean I had respect for Louis for the fight and um, I've got even more respect for him now so um, I thought the first round just uh, slightly edged up but then in the second round he just said uh, kept coming at me and unloaded right hands of his own so um, in the last round, I think he could have gone either way, really. I think he just managed to land a couple more right hands than we did up yeah, there. And, but so, now I've got a uh, few miles of respect for him. Yeah, did, did, a real good and tough battle. Did you ever feel like you were on top in that fight, Stuart? Did you ever feel like you you had this guy's full bird who's just a case um, to get across the line? To be honest, I thought in the first round, I thought oh, I boxed well in the first round, but then I got to the end of the first round and then I felt like my legs had gone. So then when I sat down, I thought, ah, oh, this could be tough one. And then at that point, we um, came flying out the traps a bit more and thought, more pressure on so then I did this now and then I just kind of managed to find a bit in the last round but I don't, I don't have to uh, come from so I'd say um, but so I think uh, it was close fights and so both of us yeah. uh, came out with uh, yeah. respect really. Louis was Stuart harder than you expected? Or? Uh, yeah I think so to be honest with you I think uh, I'd heard about the right hands from other lads in the gym but I think when you're in there and you, and you really cut one uh, you know, you do know about it, you know you've taken a hit, that kind of thing, I think. No matter how headgear comes here on the bigger gloves, so you still know you've had a, had a whack. Yeah, you know? yeah. Do you feel you really had the chance to show your own performance a little bit, with maybe just some push on about four little bit too much? I think uh, uh, that was the plan, but I think once you get in there, you kind of, the plan kind of goes out the window. It's kind of, you just got, you know, excitement, the, uh, adrenaline and everything going. Like, the crowd's like noisy, you can't really hear what people are saying. Like, so it's just... It's just a bit of a whirlwind, really. Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe, I, maybe I guess the calm, calm ahead may have done differently. <laughs> I guess. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, Stuart, you must be delighted with the win. You say you're too old for this when we were coming into the interview. Were you 37 now? Or? Yeah, 37, virtually 38. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to try something a bit more calm. I'd say uh, when you've got lads like Louis coming out, you say probably think that's about enough now. But, uh, <laughs> is that your last? Is that your last, Is this actually your last fight then? Well, yeah, I think. So. I mean, I love the I love the sports. Say, so I think. Uh, the gym's a fantastic place to go with a, a magnificent group of people down there. So I'll continue to go to the gym, do the boxing squads, do stuff like that. But I think doing another 12 <laughs> week camp and going through this again. Yeah, no. I don't know whether it's my legs can take it, but it's probably, it's probably my heart that can't take it. I'm doing yoga from now on. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Good time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You're beating me in that, definitely. You know, I hear this every time. Everyone, everyone retires after the fight, and then you'll come back and you see it again for the next show. Is that what's going to happen to you guys, is it? Or? Um, I don't, probably not the next one, I might think about it again. Um, again, sort of mirror what Stuart said, uh, the guys at the gym, the trainers at the gym are brilliant. There's a real good like feel at the gym, very friendly environment yeah. there. Um, so I just would try and promote that, you know, and give credit to, for me personally, Jamie in particular, Anthony uh, and Neil. Yeah, Joe well. Gale, Anthony Rogel, Neil Perkins, is a really well, good coach. And, and I've got to give a shout out really to, to Louis as well, so, um, he's got so much enthusiasm there, um, so he's a great coach. And um, kept me on my toes all the way, so cheers, Louis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really enjoyed the fight, Look, win yeah. or lose, really enjoyed the fight. Yeah, guys, definitely. We'll go and have a drink together now. Yeah, excellent, really excellent. Well, 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 well done, Stuart. Well, 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 well,